Whew, all right, you ready to watch The Idol? You know, after watching Euphoria, I'm actually considering watching those that is considered art. Well, one of the creators of this show is actually the same guy that created Euphoria, and get this, he created the show with The Weeknd. Wait, as in the singer? The what the hell are you waiting for? Press play? Five hours later. What the hell did we just watch? Did I just saw Johnny Depp's daughter get violated or were they just trying to copy Fifty Shades or something? I'm not so sure. It feels more like Fifty Shades had a baby with Euphoria and then and then Euphoria just jumps out the window just to avoid being the parent. What the f Let's be honest, the only good things about this show were the performances and the cinematography. Can we talk about the soundtrack? Of course we could talk about the soundtrack. I mean, you gotta admit, the score and the songs were fire. It's the weekend. What did you expect? I'm so confused. Was Tedros a pimp or a guru? I can't tell. I mean, no respect to the weekend, but those sex scenes in this show were so awkward. Oh yeah, how about let's not forget that he was. in a Gucci store. But hey, can we talk about that ending? Oh, you mean the part where she decided to tell everybody at the concert that she is dating the same guy that not only lied, but also sexually assaulted her, saying that he changed her life after her mother's passing? Is that what you want to hear? No, I think we're good. But Double Fantasy? Oh yeah, definitely one of the best songs they've ever made. 